Have you ever watched something that you can't shake off? Then you know the feeling. You've got to pass it on to every single person in your life. These are the 30 scary videos that everyone's talking about. Number 30. Intruder in the Night At around 2 in the morning, an intruder entered this resident's home through her child's bedroom window. A security camera in the room captured everything on video. Terrifying moments for this Rochester mother. Like, my kids could have been kidnapped. Watch the bottom left side of your screen as a security camera inside of her daughter's bedroom catches a fan being moved out of the window. A little girl sound asleep. In the burglar is seen quietly moving the fan out of the way before entering through the window where he tripped the extension cord, shutting the camera off. Moments later, the man is seen peering through the open window before climbing inside and the video stops when the man trips the extension cord. The resident's three- and four-year-old daughters remained asleep and unharmed as the man passed through their room and into their mother's bedroom. The woman told WTAE Pittsburgh that she felt like someone was watching her. When she opened her eyes, the figure fled through the front door. After taking her phone, the woman and her family had just moved in two weeks prior and no longer feel secure. The video was posted by a family friend on Facebook to help police try to track down the suspect. It's unclear if they found him, but I hope they did before he strikes again. Number 29. Ghost or Pipes? If this isn't a haunted house noise, it should be. Redditor Full Caregiver 5287 posted his wise security camera footage to Reddit, wondering if anyone had theories as to what this noise is. As you can see by the timestamp, the noise occurred at around 3 in the morning, but he writes in the comments that it happens randomly every so often, and this isn't the only creepy thing going on in their home. In another post, the Redditor shares this footage of his daughter having a panic attack in the middle of the night. His daughter said she saw a shadow person in her room. While the first piece of footage can be explained away as old pipes screaming, accompanied by the second clip, it's harder to deny that there might be something darker going on here. Did the daughter see a shadow figure? Or was she woken by whatever is screaming? Number 28. Buried Alive It's everyone's worst nightmare, being buried alive. But that's what some believe happened to this teenage girl from Honduras. Footage captured the grieving family as they broke into the coffin of the teenage girl. After they say she started screaming inside, she'd already been buried for a day. When they opened it up, they rushed the girl to the hospital, but medics could not revive her. Although it may be true that she was buried alive, some are saying the family was only clinging to their last hope. Either way, it's a gut-wrenching story. Number 27. Family Photo Look closer at your family photos. You might spy something alarming. Watch to the right of the kid dressed in black. Did you see that? A ghostly figure appears to run out from behind him. Is this ghost camera shy? I don't know about you, but I can't come up with an explanation for this. 
As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. What scary story is this one telling us? Number 26, out of the way. In 2019, an intruder in Cranston, Rhode Island, let himself into this home in the most outrageous way possible. The home security camera captured the break-in, which happened midday. A moment later, the footage captures the man fleeing the scene. As he was confronted by the elderly homeowner in the next room, he probably thought the house was empty. The police released the footage to the press, hoping that it might identify the man. I guess they should check the local kickboxing classes. Number 25, woman in the blue dress, will be given a tour of a haunted house. This lady saw the haunting with her very eyes, watched the dark doorway behind the group. The cameraman apparently didn't see the ghost at the time. Only the lady to the left saw it. She later has a panic attack, describing what she witnessed. Do you see it? I certainly do. It's one of those things that's got everyone talking. Number 24, Bel Air House. This paranormal investigator's first look into the haunted Bel Air House cemented its title as most haunted house in the US. What's more, the Bel Air spirits are aggressive. The following occurred in the seance room. What the f Something just pushed me off the chair. What? Something just pushed me off the chair. No, it didn't move. The chair also appeared to move on its own after Karen is pushed off of it. The team also believes they captured demonic laughter right before this incident. The basement door kept opening by itself, and they went down to check it out. As they leave the room, you can hear faint wheezing. Listen closely. Yeah. I think we found that light for at least on the stairs. If it's that mad at you, I don't want to shut the lights off while you're going out. What was that? The team concludes that the spirit heard laughing was a mischief maker en route to the seance room to push Karen off her chair. While the laughter could be explained as one of the crews wheezing as they walk toward the basement door, the fall off of the chair looks genuine. Either it's legit or well-framed and well-acted. I think it's real. What do you think? Number 23, Soccer Ghost. Now I must quickly acknowledge that this sport is called football everywhere outside of North America. This ghost is a ball hog. Watch the soccer ball. Well, the first little twist is disturbing enough. The fact that the ball then loosies this Charlie Brown all on its own is even stranger. Those in the comments are wondering how, and I'm guessing it's either remote control activated or something is attached to the torn flap of the ball, which you can see here. Or you know, it could be a ball hogging ghost. I'd prefer that. Number 22, Screams in the Night. On their last walk of the day, Redditor Gadden420 and his dog heard something chilling in the woods. Listen closely. Come on, come on. 
Let's hear it again. Many in the comments think it's a fox, others think it's a vixen, which according to one redditor, sounds like someone having their life ended. After listening to recordings of fox screams, I'd have to agree, that is what a fox says. Number 21. Reflection Why does this girl's reflection have a life of its own? Watch the red-haired girl on the right and the reflection behind her. She moves her head rapidly back and forth. Her reflection doesn't, though. She gestures with her right hand. Her reflection does not. Then she looks directly at the camera, and you guessed it, her reflection doesn't. And then this happens. Her reflection appears to rise from its chair while she remains seated. What in the world is happening here? I assume some wizardry might be at play. Number 20. Unidentified flying object over Mexico. This footage captured some bizarre unidentified flying objects over Mexico City in May of 2009. Let's take a look. a ver eh, las mismas imágenes, Pedro, pero en cámara lenta. Mira, ahí podemos ver algo que tú no viste en primera instancia. Exactamente. Decenas de esferas que van saliendo en ambas direcciones. The orderly linear lights disperse. From there, things get chaotic. Es el objeto como da de vueltas. Luego, estas como llegan a darle. Mira, aquí en cámara sí. lenta las vemos. Caramba, hombre. Still, they seem to be traveling in sync. A closer look shows they're blazing. Then they get lost in the clouds. Salen esas cantidades de esferas. No, no, la verdad ya es otra, es otra cuestión. No, ya dices, ah, caray. Esto sí me dejó también así como a ti impactado, ¿no? Mira, lo más extraordinario para mí. Bueno, tuviste suerte al grabar. Soon they're back in an orderly line again. Te bajas del camión, lo sigues, lo tomas. Mira nada más. <laughs> sí. Mira qué imágenes, caramba. Y es en ambas direcciones. Entonces nadie puede decir que es un, un, un racimo de globos que se va deshaciendo. Salen en ambas direcciones. Well, some say this is an optical illusion. Others call it the best UFO evidence they've ever seen. I also think it's quite compelling. It looks like a mothership hatching smaller aircraft. Number 19. Thirsty Ghost This thirsty ghost is gonna drink your coke. A YouTuber was telling a story to his viewers when the real story was going on behind him. Watch the soda can over his shoulder. But uh, it's definitely something creepy, so let's go ahead and zoom in on this jank. But this guy was the type of guy. All right, there you have. While well, the YouTuber thinks the soda could have been pulled by his camera cord, I think there might be another logical explanation. But there's only one cord, and it's my camera cord. And you know, I thought maybe my camera cord, my webcam cord, might have pulled it. My thoughts are that condensation formed beneath the soda can, causing it to move across the slick surface of the desk. So what do you think? A thirsty ghost or science? I'm still wondering if it was condensation. Number 18. Something. Described by Redditor Yeezus underscore C as footage of something. I'm going to play you this video so you can see what that something is. <sighs> Pull up. 
pulled from security footage, an office chair is captured spinning on its own, and toward the end of the clip, it makes a final turn. <laughs> Those in the comments have several theories. Well, I think it could be any one of these theories. I wouldn't rule out a passed away office worker with an axe to grind. I can picture a horror movie about it already. Number 17. Woman at the Door If someone rings your doorbell in the middle of the night, don't answer. This video is one example why. At around 1 in the morning, a teenage girl was going from door to door, ringing doorbells. Residents say doorbell footage captured the girl standing on the doorstep, talking on her phone, and after receiving no answer, leaving in a hurry. Those who made contact with the girl through their intercoms say she claimed to need a charger or a ride somewhere. But many were wary that this could be a scam and someone hidden out of sight might rush the door if they opened it to her. The local sheriff said not opening the door was the right course of action. Instead of answering to a stranger in the night, he said call 911. I guess we'll never know what's really happening here. Number 16. Marked by a Demon In this paranormal investigation at the haunted Honeycut Farm, Sunny Deeds is given the mark of the devil. They first hear something walking around the farm in the darkness. The f is that? Like walking, right? And moments later, Sunny appears to be stung by something, but that something isn't a wasp. It's the devil. I'm telling you, this is spirit. Ow. Dude. Ow. Dude. Ow. Dude. 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 Something's burning, dude. What? Something's burning me. Once safely away, he takes a look at the marking. Dude, here, take my. What is burn? Something is burning me. There's a handprint on you, bro. <sighs> Yo, I don't even like this, dude. I don't even want to be here. Literally, I do not want to be here right now, dude. It's clearly a hand's print, but seems to be burned into his flesh. Get a shot. And if that wasn't enough of a warning, maybe this is. When I CJ, what the f was that, are you f with me? No, I'm outside the f door. Through the spirit box, the demon correctly identifies him. Tell us who you are. Come forward and speak through the spirit box. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's for. Sunny. Holy. Bro. Sunny looks incredibly disturbed by all of this. Communicate with Sunny, and clearly, like, the more I look at that on, on your, what is it, on your ribs? On my side. Like, right on his side, it's like a clear, like, something trying to grab him with their hand. And as they're gathering their things to leave, the demon lets them know he's still watching. I don't know what to do. The, the, like the, the, the key to... Does the devil truly live on Honeycut Farm? I don't know. That burning hands print is proof enough for me. Number 15. Cave Creature 
While entering a deep, dark cave, these brave souls nearly left their skeletons behind. Good gravy, what is that? You can see the creature momentarily as they enter. But for some reason, this encounter doesn't send them running for the hills. And then, not long after, this happens. That hissing is somehow more terrifying than a deafening roar and the figure's features are equally horrifying. The fact that they didn't leave on the first sighting of the creature makes me think this is fake, but as we only caught a glimpse on camera, maybe they just didn't see him in the darkness. If it is acted, then it's an incredible fake. Number 14. Forks Fly This poltergeist is cooking up something scary. A YouTuber's security camera captured his kitchen coming to life, Moments later, this happened. And then... Not satisfied with the first couple forks, the poltergeist gets one last in for good measure. I'm guessing this poltergeist is either an angry cook or that he's a foodie who's lost his appetite in the afterlife. Number 13. Ghost Thief This ghost is stealthy. A workman's video shows a phantom trying to take his ladder. The ladder seems to be walking away on its own, actually. After it scares the workman, he thinks he must be imagining things and turns back to his work. But a second later, this happens. The workman repositions the ladder, but it repositions itself again. What is going on here? Some think the video is staged, but I'm not even sure how you would do that in this case. I tend to think it's real, unless you guys can disprove it in the comments. Number 12. Strange Creature What do you do when you find a mysterious mutant creature? Cook it up and eat it, of course. Well, at least that's the decision made by these individuals. Watch if you dare. They pull this strange looking guy out of a cave. It looks like a root vegetable with eyes. Then they cook it. Now it's time to eat. Harumnya. Oke, okay, teman-teman lanjut makan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kita makan bagian perutnya dulu. Bismillah. Hmm. Some in the comments say it looks like a mandrake root, and it kind of does. But those eyes, though, I don't think I could eat anything that was looking at me that way. Number ten. Ghost is watching. Who knows what is watching in the darkness? This YouTuber may have captured a spirit stalking him in this graveyard. Watch to the right of the tree. Watched at a slower speed, you can definitely see a figure peeking out at the driver.
It's unclear what the figure is. It's even unclear if it's human or post-human. But this one looks legit to me. And if I were this YouTuber, I'd get out of that graveyard ASAP. Who knows what is watching him or why? Number 9. Emily Morgan Hotel Recorded from Haunted Room 405 in San Antonio's Emily Morgan Hotel, this phantom is reflected. Watch the bottom right corner of the mirror. A misty shape appears there for a moment before the camera turns right. Watch again. Did you see that? Well, this could simply be the change in light as the camera shifts. I want to believe. Do you? Number 8. Graveyard Ghost While wandering through a graveyard in the darkness of night, this pair of daredevils met with the other side. Watch this clip closely. Did you see that? Something whipped through the air. Watch to the left of the flashlight beam. The YouTuber says that he and his friend were the only ones in the graveyard at the time. No one was smoking, there was no fog or wind, and at the time he was unaware of the figure. He only saw it when he rewatched the footage later. It looks to me like he could have caught a real apparition sweeping into the afterlife. To me, it gives credence to the idea that cemeteries are really train stations for the spirits, as some paranormal experts suggest. Number 7. La Llorona This paranormal crew visited the tomb of La Llorona one of the most famous legends of Mexico and Latin America. Nos encontramos en uno de los sitios paranormales más emblemáticos de México y a nivel mundial. Hablamos de lo que es. As they're getting a reading on their EMF meter, they hear her for the first time. <laughs> and then again, ocasionó mucho temor, mucho terror por The lamenting continues. As their EMF meter is triggered, they hear her again just as the energy falls off. She then switches from wailing to laughing. And then you hear her children too. She is following the crew through the pasture. And somehow she enters a signal on their radio. They notice the lights that were lit up on the tomb have gone out. Estaban prendidas, no? Justo, justo hace cinco segundos estaban prendidas. So they decide to go check them out. Watch the right side of the tomb. (laughs) 
Was that her, the weeping woman? What does she want? I think she wants to pull this entire crew into the water. Number 6. Haunted Hotel While staying at a haunted hotel, Chelsea Luna and her crew find that they are cursed. First, they hear it. You guys, I'm being quiet so that you can pick up any voices. What was that? Then they see it. Dude, what the They say that they hear them clashing. <gasps> what the that's so weird. What is that? James, I keep hearing something down there. Is there a spirit here? Then they feel it. <gasps> Somebody over there? <gasps> what the heck? Somebody over there. Is anyone in there? There's no way. They can't get past all this. And they always sense it. Huh? Oh. Something just moved over here. Like, sounded like something sh shifty is going on over there or something. As the spirit gets more riled, they become more cautious. Okay, so this just looks like I'm. Whoa! Whoa! Is there something in there? But it's like they're chasing a ghost. Chelsea explains what happened further. They started hearing these like these whispers and like a bunch of stuff started like hitting around downstairs, like in the kitchen area. It freaked me out. I wasn't recording at the time, I was sitting at my live stream. And I'm like, what in the They then hear an animalistic growl. Listen closely. <gasps> Is there somebody there? Though they continue to investigate, they have no idea what is in the room with them. There's nobody over there, though. Get, get, James, we can't be in here. What is that? This compelling footage leaves me to believe that there really is something haunting this hotel. Number 5. Abandoned house. While searching an abandoned house, this paranormal crew felt a heavy and sinister energy. That energy manifested itself in several ways. Watch what's lurking in this doorway. <laughs> the energy intensifies. And the images the team has captured serve as evidence of the heaviness that they found here. I don't think I would have the guts to enter, and after seeing this video, I definitely have to pass. Number 4. Floating Ghost Horatio's wise camera captured something unexpected, a shadow figure. You don't even have to watch closely on this one. The shadow figure appears at the center of the driveway and slowly drifts upward. Well, this could be your usual suspect, a bug. I've seen a lot of bugs on the lens videos, and this one feels different. The shadow is a lot darker for starters, like the absence of light, and the way it slowly drifts is unsettling. It's safe to say that this one's no bug, it's a shadow demon. Number 3. Haunted Morgue Amy is exploring Camp Coronup in Albany, Western Australia, which once served as a quarantine station. Mm -hmm. 
After setting up still cameras around the place, the footage in the kitchen captures some mysterious noise. The camera in the front hall captures a faint knock. And one in the bathroom captures a faint tap. And a small rattle. Using a paranormal device to communicate with the spirits, Jared gives Amy a message. Hoping that we can communicate. If Coming forward. If there's somebody here. Can... The spirit also shares why she's here. Can you tell us why you're here? Consumption. During the session, Jared felt something prodding him, like a game of operation. Did you touch my hat at all during that time? No. I swear my hat kept getting touched and maybe even pulled back a bit. That's weird. And I also feel like... Was he being examined for consumption? Or twitches all over my body, like my leg. It would like twitch here, and then it would twitch here, and then I'd get a twitch here. Like a skin twitch. That's or a muscle weird. spasm or something, you know what I mean? And my knees and my legs and my arms. The footage convinces me that this place is still a quarantine station, like a purgatory between the living world and the beyond. Number two, humanoid. As these dudes were wandering in the darkness, they encountered something they never expected. Okay. Did you were gonna go! Climbing on the gate, it looks like a tiny extraterrestrial humanoid, and apparently it gives chase. Do not this book in it! Go! Still go! Do go! God. Dude, he's right there! Dude, get your Dude, my light's not working. The humanoid creature is catching up to them. Dude. Stupid, why would you stay? We gotta go, we gotta go! What is that? I'm not entirely sure, but let's hope it didn't get them. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Clearwater Demon House This paranormal crew investigated the Clearwater Demon House in Reno, Nevada. And judging by this communication with the spirits, dark energy is here. See these bones? Break, please. Oh, I. Break, please. You said, look at these bones. And then it goes, break, please. That seems like a clear message. The team later sees a figure on their Kinect device. There too, like just on the edge of the stick. There they are. Right. Oh. There. No, it was over there. It was right here by the stairs, and then it just appeared back over there. But that's not all. They soon capture an even more ominous presence on camera. Watch the window as this crew member enters the house. I thought I saw some kind of black shadow behind that window, but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. Even more interesting, the camera from inside the room captures the opposite side of the window, and there's nothing there. What was that? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. They didn't fully comprehend seeing the shadow figure in the moment, but watching the footage back sent chills up their spine. I know it did mine. After seeing this, I don't think I would have entered that house ever again.
Sometimes a mystery can be easily explained, but that's not the case with these scary videos. As a matter of fact, good luck explaining the mysterious videos on this list. These are the scary videos skeptics don't want to talk about. 